Hello. Today, you join me with my purple train hat. And we this are at Balkan. Brilliant, I've been interrupted by an announcement. But today, what I'm doing is I am taking pictures for my photography coursework. And they are based on natural forms. Now, unfortunately, I've forgotten the photographer's name. But don't worry, because we have got a train. Now, that worked incredibly well. That one is off to or at Eastbourne. But what I decided to do today is my coursework. Now, for those of you who don't know who, uh, who don't know what coursework is, it's basically work you do on your GCSE course, and it gets marked at the end of year 11. So it's not like in English literature where you do the work in your book and sit an exam. Coursework is where you are doing the exam the entire time, and that makes up 60% of my grade at the end of year 11. And 40% of it is a 10 hour long exam, which is two full entire school days, which includes breaks, of sitting in the photography room, I believe it's in complete silence, which will be interesting for me, doing work that will be marked in the exam. Now, um, one of the bits of art I need to do is taking pictures of trains for my projects. Now for me, that's quite easy, because my life, as you can see, is very train-based. I have started doing that for the past three years. Whether that was intentional, I don't know, but I can use old pictures. So that's on my project, which I'll be starting just at the end of May. And I'll give you updates of how that goes on um, this channel here. Uh, but for now, I need to do... So basically, right, I'll try and explain this well. Cool. Uh, my coursework at the moment is looking at photographers such as uh, Carl Vlosfeld, Andriana Adams, Peter Defty. Looking at their work and seeing what they do. Now, for example, Peter Defty, he does pictures of letters which he finds around him. So, um, for example, here, he would see this and he'd see that is an M. And he would take a picture of that and use it for his work. Now, he's based up in Newcastle and that's where he did some of his work. Um, it's called, like, something Tyne, I can't remember. Something like that. So I need to do the same. So I researched about him and part of that work is to do my own art in his style. So what I've decided to do today is get a ticket from Horsham to Redhill and Hayward Heath and go round the line taking pictures of natural forms for Carl Blossfeldt and also some letter work for Peter Defty. Now I'll be very honest, the natural form is quite easy because I mean just look around, I'm literally at Balkham, there's nature everywhere. But the letter side of things is a lot more difficult. So while I wait for my train back uh, up the line, I'm going to take some more pictures and I'll put them on screen and let you have a look for yourselves. I know it's a 
lost the battery cover. There we go, totally gone now. So, um, I'm going to... Oh, my ears have just gone. Uh, that never normally happens to me. I'm going to get this attached to myself. You'll, you'll, let, you'll all be able to see me going around taking shots. Now, uh, as some of you may notice, this is actually um, not on the main channel. This video is being filmed on my second channel, Tails Google. Now, for those of you who didn't know, that is actually my name. Now, my name isn't Tails, that is a nickname. Um, uh, but that's, that's just a thing. So, um, I'm going to attach this. And walk around with this, and I've got some. It's an audio case. I will one day get one. Now the audio on this isn't very good, so I will put some music over the top. Hopefully, and then get copyrighted for that. But, you know. um, I also do love this hat. It's just a new Tails hat. Get it at a London Transport Museum. Just don't get out of Covent Garden because I made the silly mistake of doing that, and I had to walk 194 stairs. Well, I say walk. I ran. Um, and I was out of breath. My heart rate was at 185. Last one I um, So we are now coming up to three bridges, and I'll be changing for a train that goes south. And I need to quickly really check that on my phone. And um, yeah, I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Bye bye. Right now, annoyingly, um, the Red Hill Shuttle leaves just before my train came in over there. So what I need to do instead is take this one, take this to Gatwick, try and get a few letter pictures for Peter Defty and um, see if I can get the Red Hill Shuttle from there. So um, hopefully that all goes to plan. But uh, this train is actually quite busy. Right, so slight change of plan. Taking this one to Red Hill and to Gatwick. And then we'll go up to Red Hill taking some pictures in Gatwick Airport. See what we can get there. And um, see how that goes. There's some bump on this service with the Catholic Airport. Just made it to Gatwick Airport. Finally, actually got here. That train felt like it took forever. I don't know why that took train, train um, took so long, but it did. Uh, also got a nice shot of the Gatwick Express come alongside us. Now, the Red Hill train's in 21 minutes, so that means I have about 17 minutes to go around taking my pictures up at the airport. So, uh. Now we've got some lovely escalators to go up and uh, get some shots. A uh, sneaky little fact I know, the way to get into the airport without having to go through all these barriers is down by platform 7. And that also drops you in a really good place where it's very empty. There's also more escalators, that's quite nice. Um, to get some shots or some pictures, I think might be, uh, might be quite a good location. So what I'm going to do is take that exit and uh, see what I'm able to find. So normally, to do this, you go down these escalators here, for some reason. Um, you take this escalator down. You also uh, uh, Portsmouth Bogner train on uh, 6. You go off these escalators there, go down this little pathway, which is exit only to airports. Now it is quite loud, but this brings you out down here, which is uh, an entrance. Now you can't go back in that way, but that doesn't stop people to be honest. Now here, it's an open concourse, no one around really, unless it's quite busy in peak times. Um, and this means I can get a couple of my pictures. Lovely old, uh, lovely old bit of coursework. So, um, let's see what I can find. 
Right, so, as you can probably tell, this up here, it probably looks quite ridiculous. But what that's for is so now you can see everything I'm seeing with my head as I tilt it round. So when I'm taking my shots, you can see exactly what I'm looking for, instead of it being just here. That's quite tactical, and it looks quite stupid. It also covers up my Elizabeth Line little logo up there. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. So, um, I've got 10 minutes to have a look around, see what I can find. So I'm gonna turn this camera off. You can look through here, see what I'm faking photos of. Here we go, now on the train, back with the camera on my head. Um, as I say, I apologise for the slightly bad quality of this, it's not amazing. But it does the job for a little walk around. Uh, yeah, I've just turned that off because I don't need it now, I don't really, won't need it until I get off again. But it is a great little camera to have uh, in use. It is very nice, right. I'm going to enjoy my Dr Pepper that you saw me order and then um, meet you all at Southwoods. Um, as I promised a little while ago, in my Lucy Station video, I will be coming down and looking at these woods. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to have a look inside the forest and take a look at the natural forms I'll be able to capture for the coursework. Now, um, I wasn't able to do that a little while ago, because, as I said, I only had nine minutes. So now, we're going to have a look and um, see. Well, I say it's a forest. Um, actually, this looks like a very small woodland which is a bit annoying. So uh, I'm gonna turn off this camera now. Hang on. There we go, that one's turned off. Now it's just on this camera. And what I'll do, as you can see, my Elizabeth Line logo, but I'm not taking it off because it's hard work to put back on. Now there are more trains passing. That's definitely a Gatwick Express train. Um, this path kind of curves round from here, very, very big curve, and then it goes left. I don't really know where I'm going, um, but there are lots of trees that you'd imagine and expect. And now I'm going alongside this pathway. I'm actually very curious to what is down here. I do actually want to see. All right, that's the GoPro off. So now, uh, now you can also actually see my. Elizabeth Light logo hats, and uh, when this decides to turn off, which it hasn't, um, we'll see where this goes. Oh, there's a side entrance to this place. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm meant to be in here. I don't know if it's breaking and entering. So uh, I'm going to do the mature thing and continue down this road, this pathway see what's here. It's not turning off. Now there is a road down here, so uh, yes, there is a road. This is a little, this is a really bad vlog for this bit. <laughs> this is not very good. Right, I'm just going to have to leave that. That's not going to turn off. Uh, National Rail induction taking place 16 not. Just had a Twitter notification. All right, okay. I'm going to cut because there's nothing here and we'll get to the end of the pathway. Right, we're now at the end of the pathway. So this is what I've walked all the way down for. Um, it's just a big main road. So I don't really know what I was expecting because now I'm just here. So this is where I've decided to take myself. Uh, this sign is just public footpath. There's no mention of Salford Station being up here. So now I'm just alongside... Um, I think it's the A23. Um, like Gatwick Road South or North or something. Uh, I can't see any sign telling me what road it is. Oh, it's Brighton Road. So I'm now on Brighton Road. It's a dual carriageway, speed limit 60. Yeah, there's nothing here apart from the shops down there. So, um... Yeah, that was worth it, wasn't it? Right, let's go back up to the station then. Oh, there's some flowers up here, actually. Let's get a... It's going to be an in-video shot, so it's not going to be that good, but... There we go. Take that picture. So I walked... Five minutes... For this. If you want to walk this yourself, more than welcome to. But there's not really much here, but with people's back gardens. Um... But yeah, that was actually pretty pointless. I made a promise to film a forest. 
in uh, Elise's station video, and um, it's not even a forest. So, for those of you eagerly anticipating for this video, I'm very sorry. It's not here. It's not even going to be its own separate video. It's still going to be inside of my. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this video actually. I might call it maybe a journey of my coursework or something like that. But yeah, nothing here. So I'm going to head back to the station, get some more pictures of some stuff. I found some bushes and leaves, so I'm going to get some of those. Just add another little look. At the end of this footbridge, at the end of uh, Salford, so I look really. My eyes look really red at the end. Oh dear. Um, the oh, 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 this looks like a great shot. That's actually quite good, that. Oh, a double shot. That'll be a... Where is that going? I don't know where that's going, um, but that shouldn't be coming up here. Um, but yeah, I saw this little pathway and I thought, you know what, let's go down here. I thought it went across that field over there, but it doesn't, it goes left. I just want to see where all this stuff goes, because I've got time to kill here. <gasps> Purple train bags, they match the cap. Purple train. Um, but, yeah. Oh god, this is a long pathway. Oh my, my days, look how long that is. But it leads you to a football pitch, so if any of you mates want to go and play some football, with you, sorry, if any of you and your mates want to play football with your mates, that's a really badly structured sentence. So if anyone wants to play some football, come to Salford. It's a free football pitch. I don't know if there's any laws against that, but... If you've got a football and you want to go to a field, there's the field right there. Throw yourself a birthday party, get some... Um... What's it called? The g g g g g g g g Gazebos, that's it. Get some foldable gazebos and put them up there. That took way too long. But yeah, I'm gonna sit here and wait for a train because uh, this shot looks quite nice. I wasted about 10 minutes for that train to come through. Right now, um, there's nothing down here. I thought there is, but I'm not going down there. Can't be bothered really. Oh my God, these steps are steep. What, whoa. They kind of slope backwards. Some of them are flat. It's not a very well designed footbridge you've ever designed it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm really, really gutted. But I didn't get that down there. I would have ran back. But I didn't think it would be anything exciting. Nick, a top tip for you. If you want to get good shots, you never know what the train is. If you hear it, run. Always run to the best spot. Don't think, oh, this one will be a one-off. It'll be fine, go up there, it'll be fine. There's only one train. There won't be anything special. Well, I think that one proves it to you quite well. Right, so I need to find coach five, because uh, this train will be approaching in two minutes. Back down to Gatwick Airport. Platform two of the 1531 Thameslink service to Three Bridges, calling at Hawley, Gatwick Airport and Three Bridges. This train has 12 coaches. Oh no, I'm being bowled out of a Great Western. It's a Great Western. I'm getting bowled, quick. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. I need to run for platform six and that's not gonna happen. Go, 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 go!
Right, well that was good. Missed my train. If I got my doors right, I would have made that. If I got my doors right. But the second I got down the stairs, the interlock went off. But I still kept running. Because you never know. Um, but this is a new bit of the airport. So, oh, Leeds just scored against Brighton. That's not good. I want them to lose, but they're going to have Oh, they have access here. Oh, that's annoying. I actually could have made that train. But they've opened all this up. So I could have came off here and ran along. Oh. Instead, I went through the 7 exit. That means everyone's got to relearn their doors now. Because, uh, all of it's different. So what I should have done was get out and go right. One carriage. See, I came off here. So I came off right here. And I ran. Then I went that way. And I should have gone this way. So if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have missed my train. Where is that going? That's East Croydon. All right, I have to work out someone else to do now then. All right, so I uh, just decided. Today's had quite a long day. Uh, now, as you'll imagine, this vlog won't be amazing because I'm not focusing on the vlog side of things, I'm focusing on the course work and the photography side. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'm going to take this train home. I might change my plan again. But, uh, I don't really know. But um, current time is 15.47. Been out since half past one. Um, yeah, I'm going to take this one home, I think. So I'm going to edit this video when I get home. Thank you very much for watching. And um, I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.